On September 14th, California will either keep its Democratic governor, Gavin Newsom, or kick him to the curb. And this has huge implications. And I'm not just talking about the people who live in California. If you're like me, don't go away because I'm going to tell you why this matters to all of us, not just Californianos. There are three simple steps to prevent this. Number one, vote no on question number one. That's it. Nothing else to do. Number two, put that ballot inside the envelope. Number three, take that envelope to a mailbox or better yet, a ballot drop off box. Oh, and a sneaky step. Number four, tell everyone you know to vote no on the recall. Because if 50% of the people vote yes on question number one, then whatever candidate has the most votes in question two becomes governor. And it doesn't matter if that candidate is the devil incarnate like Larry Elder. He's a right-wing Trump ally who is anti-choice, thinks the minimum wage should be, listen to this, zero dollars, and he promotes anti-vaxxers. So back to my point, vote no on question number one and make sure that ballot gets returned. And then tell everyone to vote no. You're not a fan of Gavin Newsom? I'm not here to tell you to send him love letters. The guy is up for re-election next year. So this recall is a waste of time, a waste of energy, and a waste of millions of taxpayers' dollars. Oh, and you don't live in California? I don't live in California, but this is still important. And I need you to please talk, text, send smoke signals to every Californian you know and tell them to vote no and return their ballot. Why does this affect non-Californians? Well, because if a Trump Republican like Larry Elder wins California, it's going to embolden the base and money is going to flood the GOP. They're gonna use Elder's election to embrace more of Trump's right-wing positions. So remember, vote no and tell everyone to do the same.